Hey guys, John G, Modern Design Aquascaping. Our team builds custom ponds, fountains, and waterfalls out of natural stone and wood. My goal, educate and inspire the world about ponds and water features. Today's video, welcome back to the Water Feature Design Series. I'm talking to you about this intake bay, how it's designed, the changes that we made, what I like about it. I'm gonna go over something super cool that we did for the first time here. And I think you guys are gonna be really interested in that. There's the footprint. The water level comes up almost four more feet to the bottom of that stone. This is our giant skimmer system. All water from this entire feature pulls through in this direction and goes back into here. We've got two pumps that go all the way back to that giant mound of dirt back there. We've got a pump that runs this waterfall that's going in here. We have two pumps that run down into the edge that run the jet system through the entire water feature. And we have three pumps that run our wetland filter up at the top. All of those pumps suction from right here. That's what creates the right here and makes our skimmer work so well. We made a few artistic changes in this thing. We got to use a 50 by liner instead of a 35 by liner. That let us have some more shape. We got to pull out into here to do our drainage system in here. I just did a video about that. We got to put a lot of curve into it. So the water runs in and it's gonna come way around here. It's gonna sweep in and go that way. I mean, we'll end up with 100,000 gallons an hour coming through this area. We did uh, Aquascape's pondless vaults down in the bottom of there. Underneath each one, of these stack pipes that you're seeing on the other side and then we just slid those tubes down right over top there are 75 aqua blocks down in the bottom here guys when i do my layout for an intake i like to spec one aqua block per 500 gallons of flow rate on the maximum end on the minimum end one aqua block per thousand gallons per hour of flow rate these are cottonwood trees and they're massive and this pond is completely surrounded by them i opted to go with 500 gallons per hour flow rate per aqua block that that's how I strategically laid out the number of blocks. And then I pulled one pump from each one of these vaults over here on the other side. Conversation with Brian Helfrich at Aquascapes not too long ago was about how much more effective these things are with the skimmer in the back of them. I decided to give it a whirl. So we did install a skimmer right back in the corner back there. So pumps are all pulling in this way, pulling back this way, skimmer in the corner to grab as much surface debris as it can. We did a lot of extra shaping with the boulders here. So this is a soil pocket for a plant here you can see the liner edge so we got something that likes wet feet will grow in here we were able to put this whole plant shelf all the way around the back edge to shape that out more and then obviously the extra additional liner allowed us to do the bump out and get the good curving shape going on in here we've got conduits run down that go into the bottom so for easy facilitation of lighting installation later i told you i was going to share something with you that we'd never done before it was spawned from a conversation that i had with brian helfrich maybe a month or so ago about how these intakes tend to get clogged up with sediment after five to 10 years, and it requires manual removal of the cobblestone and cleaning out of the vaults, all of the top of the aqua blocks, whatnot. Just sounds like mayhem to me. So I thought, well, as the water comes in to the intake bay, as the water slowly disperses and gets deeper in here, the sediments drop out, it's pulling stuff down in. In this instance, it's all pulling that way. So I thought, okay, well, the sediments and the sands and stuff are gonna begin filling the aqua blocks right here where they start it's going to start building up sand and it's slowly going to perk this way and it's slowly going to fill up along the outside edge and i thought well here's the problem long-term maintenance so we went in here and we installed a whole row of centipedes and a snorkel all the way down there at that far end and what that is for is it's so that we can put a clean out pump in this thing while it's operating and pull as much of this debris out of here we have the option to do it while it's running we have the option to pump this thing out we could drop clean out pump in here we we can pull debris out in that direction. And then we have this centipede that runs all the way down there. That allows us to pull the debris out of the aqua blocks in that direction as well. So we did this for versatility in our intake so that we could have a better option for long-term maintenance plan in this thing. I'll let you guys know how it works out over the test of time. Do me a favor, let me know what you think of that idea. Let me know what you think of the, the intake. What questions do you have? What changes would you make? Does it help you in your design work? Was it a value or do you feel like this is five minutes of your life that you're never getting back? Let me know down down there in the comment section. I appreciate you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, smash the bell, all that stuff. Thanks for everything, guys. John G out.